Alright guys, I'm back, and this is the third video of the snake series, and hopefully the last. Um, so yeah, we're going to do some movement stuff right now. Um, so down here, we're going to do private class key, implements uh, key listener. Basically, this is going to be our class for key input. Um, so, basically, all we need is this key pressed method. Um, so, we'll do int key equals e dot get key code. Um, if key equals vk no no key event dot vk underscore right um whoops made made a couple spelling errors in there um so if you're pressing right and it's not left we'll do up equals false down equals false and then right equals true um we'll just we'll just copy this because we're lazy and um so uh, flip these around if it's left and this is not right um and then we'll make this left um if key equals key event dot vk underscore up and and we're not going down so you, this this is basically the and and the knots um, are basically you can't go backwards so if you're going down and you press up you can't go back inside your own body it wouldn't make sense so um, we'll do left equals false right equals false and up equals true now we'll copy this too um, and we'll change flip these around uh, down up down and we'll go back up to the constructor up here and focusable true so that way we can actually do this and we'll add a new key add a new key listener key so we actually need to make a key object key equals equals new key all right um this should work so yeah we can move around now Except we can kind of go backwards, but I'll fix that once we add collisions. Um, next thing we're gonna do is probably add apples. So, yeah. so with apples, we need to create a new class again. Um, and guess what we're gonna call it? We're gonna call it Apple. Whoa, that's crazy! I know. Um, This is going to be basically the same thing as the um, body part class, um, except it's for apples. So we need an x coordinate, a y coordinate, and a tile size. And we need these up here too. What am I doing? Uh, width and height. So this dot x coordinate equals x coordinate dot y coordinate equals y coordinate tile width width equals tile size height equals tile size. Um, let's add the tick and uh, draw methods. Draw. 
graphics. G. All right. So in the draw method, um, we're gonna set the color to red, and we're just gonna draw or fill a rectangle. Um, x coordinate times width. Y Y coordinate times height um and width and height, which are already actually in there. And um, if we go up here to this quick access thing, wait we put a semicolon in here. Um we just type in getters. We're gonna Create getters and setters for these. This is just so we can like access these these variables up here in the uh, screen class. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an apple and we'll call it apple and we'll create an, another array list. Um, let me see apple apples. Okay, so we need to initialize this array list as well. Um, apples equals new array list. Apple. Um, so yeah, and we'll do in here if apples dot size is equal to zero, the same concept except we'll be in place for this is we're just gonna we're just gonna spawn a new apple. Um, let's see what do we have to do for that. We're actually gonna use a random. So up here I'm gonna just create a new random object. We'll call it R. And up here R equals new random. So we're in the constructor again. Equals new random. Whoops. Random. Um, and make sure you import that. So we'll just create two variables, x core and y core. And we'll do r dot next int int seventy nine. So since there's like actually eighty um tiles, I guess you could say. Eighty tiles. It starts at zero, so it's like seventy nine is the last one. Um, so we'll do int y core equals r dot next int seventy nine, and we'll do a equals new apple or is it apple 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 equals new apple x core y core uh, ten. And we'll add apple. So what we need to do down here is actually create a for loop to go through the array list. So i is less than apples dot size i plus plus. Um, okay, let's see. If x coordinate is equal to apples dot get i dot get x coordinate and y coordinate is equal to apples dot get i dot get y coordinate, so if their if their coordinates are equal, if they're on top of each other, we're actually going to add to the size one. And we're gonna remove the apple from the array list, and then we need to subtract from i because the array is smaller now. Um, let's just copy this actually. Copy this for loop and take it down into the paint method. Um, let's see, and let's take out take out all of this and we'll just do apples dot get i 
dot drag. So let's see, this should work, I think. Yeah. Okay. So our apple has spawned, and now if we grab it, we should expand in size. Yes, we have, and a new apple spawned. So I'd say that's pretty cool, right? Um, there's just two things we need to add, and basically that would be um, would be like collisions to the wall and stuff. So how we're gonna do this is we'll add another for loop in i is equal to zero, i is less than. No, actually we don't need to add in. No, we do actually. I is equal to zero. I is less than snake dot size. I plus plus. Um. So how we're gonna do this is we'll do if x coordinate is equal to snake dot get i dot get x coordinate. Actually, go back into the snake or the body part and type in getters and setters again. Um, we need to just create these for x and y coordinates. Um, if it's equal to the x coordinate and the y coordinate is equal to snake dot get i dot get y coordinate, then what are we gonna do? So if if that's equal to it and um if i does not equal snake snake dot size minus one then we're just gonna stop the game um the reason i had to put in this if statement is because it's also checking the head and the head is always going to equal the position of the head so we had to cancel that out. Um, yeah, let me just make this stop method. Um, what we'll do in here is running equals false and thread dot join. And we need to put a try catch around that. Um, so yeah, if we run through this. Um, and I run into myself, which I did, it stops. And you can also put in right here um, if x coordinate is less than zero or x coordinate is greater than 80, no, no, 79, or y coordinate or y coordinate is less than zero or x no y coordinate is greater than seventy nine stop okay so if we go off the screen now it should stop that should be seventy nine not seven there we go Alright, so if we go off the screen now it should just stop the game. Um you could even you could make it like loop around if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. So you can see it stops. So yeah, that's that's snake. Um thank you guys very much for watching my videos. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment if you've got any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.